Yeah, trendsetter, whoa, league of my own, it don't get better No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller Yeah, reach for my goals, hit it dead center, hit it dead center Bullseye hit it the most, there's no misses Something like fish in a barrel, it's no different Blindfold on me, I still got the... What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jacob, also known as Pick Management, back here with the Wagering Wizard, my guy, Mark, who is off another solid night, 1-1-1, one, one, and one, even across the board. I went 2-1, and one, a little bit of profit. Uh, you know, can't ask for much better. We didn't lose, so <laughs> it's, it's, uh, better, it's better, better than losing. Uh, but we are here for another episode of the NHL Betting Insiders. We have a pretty solid slate today. Well, like seven games, I think. Uh, yeah, seven games. In the NHL, some really good ones. Mark and I are going to dig into them and give you guys our best bets. But before we do that, I got to tell you guys about a couple of things you need to add to your betting toolbox. First, check out the Juice Roll app. The link is below, and it is the only free app that automatically syncs to your sports books to give you insights and analytics into how you wager so you can become a better better. Those kind of insights and analytics are the kind of things that are going to make you a real pro and let you cash all the time. If you don't care about the verification and record keeping, you can track other successful bettors on there. People are climbing the leaderboards. There's a guy on there who bet $80 million in the last year and cashes all the time. He's a great follow. You can also follow their AI bots. Make sure to check out Juice Reel. Link is below. And then if you guys want to take a shortcut to being a statistician and really getting into sports betting analytics like how Mark does with his newsletter and algorithm and his model, check out Rhythm. What Rhythm does, it gives you a shortcut to model building. They have pre-made models that you can adjust on the fly, experiment with, do all sorts of stuff like that, or you can build your own from scratch, and they will teach you how to do it. So make sure to check out the Rhythm app. The link is below, totally free. If you guys have any questions, ask Mark or I. We are all about Rhythm and model building because uh, Mark has a model that has been hitting at like 70% since the beginning of the year. So you need to make sure to tail, follow that, Juice Reel, and uh, the Rhythm app. Uh, Mark, let's just dive right into our best bets for this slate. Uh, you can just jump right in and start hitting us with your best bets. Fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, the first one I have for us is that uh, we're going to go to the Montreal and Nashville game. Uh, I am taking the Montreal team total under two and a half at minus 125. Here's why. Saros, Juice Saros is expected to be in goal for Nashville tonight. Um, back on February 15th, the Dallas Stars ran him off the ice after the first period, after they tallied four goals in the first. Since then, uh, Saros has been 6-0-0 in his last six starts, and he's only allowed eight goals total to be scored in those six games. He's absolutely been unbeatable. In his last three home starts, his save rate is 96.5%, and no team has scored more than one goal on him in those three home starts. Uh, I really like him. You know, Montreal is is only scoring 3.17 goals a game right now. Uh, they haven't faced a, a shutdown goalie like Saros in their last five games. I really like him to keep Montreal off the scoreboard tonight. Yeah, I love that. You know, I'm taking a look at this Nashville Predators uh, puck line. Uh, maybe minus one if I can get it live, but uh, I think the Canadians are just not playing very good hockey right now, uh, and I think that Nashville at home is a tough beat, so uh, let's ride with this Predators team. Uh, my Sims have it as a 5-1 victory for the Predators, uh, so Mark is pretty spot on with thinking that they might stay off the board. Montreal just 1-7 straight up their last eight, two and 8 straight up their last 10 against Nashville, 0-5 the last straight, 0-5 straight up the last five on the road and one in six straight up the last seven on the road against Nashville. So we have a lot of trends heading in our direction for this one. We've also seen the over hit in five out of the last six times between these two teams. Uh, so look for Nashville to take it to Montreal tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the next one I have for us is uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be riding those Panther coattails for a while until they lose. Um, we're going to go to the New Jersey Devils who are hosting the Florida Panthers tonight. I'm taking Florida on the money line at minus 115. And I have to be honest, I saw this line and I was a little shocked that it was so low, uh, especially after what we saw Florida do to the New York Rangers last night. They beat them four to two and they never really looked like they were out of control or out of that game at all. You know, Anthony Stolarz for Florida will be in goal and he's actually better than Bobrovsky's. You know, his stats are a little bit better. He is 4-0-0 in his last four road starts. He has a 96.8 save rate and a ridiculous one goal against average in, in those starts. Um, his last game was a 4-0 shutout in Buffalo. 
And I really like him against a New Jersey team that just fired their head coach yesterday. So, you know, I think Florida is a, is a very difficult and tough team to beat under normal conditions. You're in the middle of a coaching change. That's an added letter level of complexity that I just don't see New Jersey overcoming. Yeah, I love that. I'm all over Florida here, too. Um, a couple of things. You know, Florida's just been so dominant lately. 13-1 straight up the last 14 on the road. 5-0 straight up overall. Uh, this Devils team has been struggling a bit. 2-5 and five the last seven games. Uh, we have seen a lot of overs hit recently for them. Uh, but a couple of things. Uh, Florida, 4-1 and one on the second night of a back-to-back. 19 and four as a road favorite, and they're taking on the Devils, who are four and 14 as an underdog or even, and one and four as a home underdog. So, to add to all of those other uh, elements that are feeding into a good Florida win here, uh, we have a lot of historical trends in our favor here, too. Florida has owned the Devils uh, recently. So, let's ride this Florida money line minus 133. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, the, the next one I have for us is uh, we're going to go to Winnipeg, where Seattle is going. Uh, to face off against the Jets. I'm taking Winnipeg on the three-way money line at minus 110. The reasoning behind this is fairly simple. Uh, Winnipeg is 5-0-0 in their last five home games. They're averaging 3.4 goals a game, and they're only giving up 1.8 goals a game to the opposition. Seattle right now is just struggling to score goals. I, I just, you know, in their last five road games, they're 3-2, and two, but they're only been averaging 2.4 goals a game. And they're being held to 26 shots during those those five last five games, but they're giving up 35 shots to the opposition. I just really like Winnipeg, especially with Connor Hellebuck in uh, in the goal tonight, to get this done in regulation. Yeah, um, Winnipeg is I think has Seattle's number here. Seattle has not been the greatest team this year. They're they're really like flip flopping. Like they they I feel yeah. like they play better against bad teams. Uh, but when they take on some real competition, they tend to struggle. Um, so Seattle, six and three straight up their last nine, but one in five straight up their last six against Winnipeg. Uh, we've seen the over hit in five out of their last seven and six out of the last nine for Winnipeg. Six and one straight up for Winnipeg, five and oh straight up at home, 12 and two versus the Western Conference. So Winnipeg at home is a tough task for anyone. Um, I do think we see goals in this game. Um, so I am actually going to be looking towards the over here. Um, the over is currently at five and a half. Um, honestly, I might take that at six um, to get a little bit of a better price. We can get six at plus 120. So worst right. case scenario, we push. But if it goes over, we get the plus money bet. So I'm going to take Seattle versus Winnipeg over six at plus 120. Um, I'm probably going to take the Winnipeg money line too. Uh, it's a minus 168. Uh, but I'm going to wait till it goes live so I can get it at minus one. I've said it before. I play at Bovada, who only gives minus one once the game goes live, uh, which is kind of annoying, but I can't find it anywhere else. So if you're looking for it, that's where it's at. I used to get it at five dimes when five dimes was still around, but no more. Um, so, yeah, I, I love the over there, and I love Winnipeg to take care of business. And I got one last one for us. Uh, we're going to go to the, the matchup between the Blackhawks and the Coyotes in the – who is the worst team in the NHL game for tonight? Um, I'm going to take Matthias McKelly. And this is a two-leg same-game parlay on his, his stats. We're going to go over 1.5 shots on goal for him, as well as taking the over 0.5 points for him. Combine those two together, we get plus 124 odds. The reasoning behind it is, besides Chicago being 0-11 uh, in their last 11 road games, uh, since January 1st, they're giving up 3.55 goals a game, over 32 shots a game. Last night, they gave Colorado 37 shots. Uh, I just really like – and Matthias has been over both of these lines in four of his last five games. I just think it's a great way to attack somebody who is going to have some offensive freedom tonight, who is adept at scoring and, uh, and really moving the puck around for other people to score, as well as he's not afraid to take some shots. I just think this is a great play in what is otherwise going to be a pretty ugly game. Uh, and who was the player again? Matthias McKelly. Matthias McKelly. We had to do a uh, little pronunciation <laughs> check before the show because we weren't so sure how to say his last name. McKelly, McKelly, McAlelly. Right. Uh, but it is uh, McKelly. Uh, over a one and a half uh, shots on goal and a, over a half a point. Uh, that was it for you, though? That's it. Okay, I got a couple more. I am taking... Dallas versus San Jose, second period over two goals. And I am taking it because Dallas has hit this in uh, nine out of the last 10 matches, eight matches, games. 
I'm oh, sorry, I'm a soccer better. Uh, and 18 out of their last 19 games overall, this has been hitting at an unbelievable rate. San Jose can't stop me or you uh, from scoring a goal. So I think this Dallas game is going to be super high scoring. I think Dallas takes care of business, uh, and I think they can get the two goals on their own in the second period. Uh, so I am all over that. It's at plus 100, so pretty good uh, uh, odds on that. If you want to take the over one and a half to avoid the push, go for it, but it is a little juicy. Um, so that is what I'm on for Dallas. I'm also going to take really, Dallas. Oh, I was just, oh. just going to say, I really like that play only because uh, Capo. Right. It's going to be a goal. He's he's giving up four and a half goals a game over his yeah, last five lot. starts. I mean, that's the guy's well, a, a it's just it's it's disgusting. A little leaky, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, we might be. Uh, so I'm also going to take the over six in the game. That's a minus one seventeen, and they're uh, minus one and a half. It's a minus one sixty. A little steep, but I'm really confident in this one. I really like all three of those plays. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Vancouver Canucks versus the Kings. I'm also going to be on the Canucks here uh, and the over in this game. Uh, I just think the Canucks, you know, are talented, high scoring, uh, and I don't think the Kings can keep up with their scoring. Uh, they just came off a day off. They're 35 and 20 after a day off, 19 and 15 on the road, taking on a 12 and 16 Kings team. Uh, but Vancouver uh, has lost three out of the last five games. Uh, we've seen the Kings win three out of their last five games. They just beat Vancouver 5-1 at Vancouver. So I think Vancouver has some revenge on their mind. I think we see another high-scoring game here. But I think, um, you know, in the second matchup uh, of these two teams, I like Vancouver to get it done in this one. Yeah, uh, They're, they're yeah. putting Demko's in the net versus Talbot. Uh, better right. goalie matchup in this match than the last one. Uh, so, yeah, I really like Vancouver in the over here. Yeah, that's a good revenge spot. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to recap your plays real quick, let people know where they can find you. We will get these guys out of here. Fantastic. Uh, I'm taking Matthias McKelly over one and a half shots on goal and uh, putting that in the same game parlay for over half a point. And I am on Montreal team total under two and a half. The Florida Panthers on the money line. And we're going to take Winnipeg on the three-way money line. And you can find me. Oh, death! I almost forgot. You can find me <laughs> on Twitter or X at uh, Better Days Ahead. Yep. And there's a link in there to the Wizards Almanac. Uh, it's a subscription-based daily article that goes out. It has even more picks, uh, Sims data, the over under, or yeah, the over under Sims, the money line and puck line Sims uh, projections. Those are both hitting at over 63 percent. I think the uh, puck line is at sixty eight percent. So, uh, yeah, go over there, sign up for that. There's a free portion and then a subscription portion where you'll get all the data. Love it. Yeah. Make sure to sign up for that model. It is unbelievable. It is cashing at an unreal rate. That is why Mark is my co-host for this show, because he, <laughs> I saw him on Shoot Your Shot and he was smashing it and uh, I had to steal him away. Uh, my best bets for tonight, I'm on Nashville minus one and a half, Florida money line, Winnipeg money line, Seattle versus Winnipeg over two. Dallas versus San Jose, second period over two. Dallas minus one and a half. Dallas over six. Vancouver money line and Vancouver versus the Kings over six goals. Uh, you guys can find me Monday through Friday live at 10 a.m. with Jonathan Coachman and Alan Bell, Howie Schwab, and the rest of the crew on driving the line. You can also find me on the NBA betting insiders, betting the pitch Europe and UEFA, and the MLS betting insiders right here on the Pick Management Podcast Network. Find bonus best bet videos and breakdowns and articles for me on Ball is Life and Ball is Life bets. Make sure to sign up for the Pick Management Discord. And lastly, Make sure you guys sign up for Juice Reel. Again, it is the only free app that automatically syncs to your sports book to provide insights and analytics into how you wager so you can become a better, better. And then if you want to build successful models and algorithms like Mark, check out the Rhythm app. It is totally free and it teaches you on a rocket ship how to build models and algorithms. Don't worry about spending tons of time and money to learn to be a statistician. Take the shortcut, use rhythm, build a model, be successful, and that'll do it for us. I'm Jacob at Pick Management across all socials. This has been the NHL Betting Insiders. We will see you later. Bullseye hit it the most is no misses. Something like fishing a barrel, it's no different. Blindfold on me, I still got.